guys welcome back to my channel it's you from happiness and crafting so today we are working on some embellishments for the wisteria dreams journal now i've got some of the little pockets um, and what i'm doing i've got these lovely um, nouveau crystal drops now i haven't used these for ages and ages and ages so they are pretty much new i have got we have got white blizzard which is a lovely glittery one i have got shimmering rose Look, they've got these lovely um, gems at the top. We have got Morning Dew, which is the one that dries like a little clear one. I have got Antique Rose and I have got, what's this one, Soft Mint. Um, and I've also got some um, liquid, pearl, liquid Pearls as well, which is gold. This is a Dovecraft one. This is just like a shimmery pastel pink. I have silver and I have opal white. So that's what I'm using today and look these are just beautiful and I think they embellish the um, wisteria journal so so well um, I'm hoping you can see that I'll pop some close-ups um, at the end of the video as well um, and I just think they're a great way because um, to embellish them the little wisteria I just love them this one I've just popped a few little um, dots here and then just embellish that I've actually sewn on the little wisteria um, word on there before obviously I've stick it onto the page but that's the, that's what I'm going to be doing today look I've got my nice happiness and crafting mug so I've got some merch on the under the video as well so I'm so excited about that and I thank you very very much for your feedback on it um, so um, I'm loving it so it's nice to have my happiness and crafting coffee mug there so what I'm going to do with these I've, these are little tags so I'm going to actually just leave them on here um, and add some lovely um, little bits and pieces to it. So I'm going to go in with quite quite a few different colours on them. Um, so actually I think I might go in with a little bit of this pink. Now I know these ones give you sort of like um, little sort of drops as well. That's why they're called drops. But I'm just going to just almost like paint with them. Just pop a little bit down there and I just think it gives it a little bit of lovely dimension um, on your tags um, and on your little embellishment so I'm just going to go in with a few sort of different colours on here um, and I think I did these probably about an hour ago and they're nice and dry now so this is why I'm leaving them sort of like on the sheets of these because um, I think it'll be easier to sort of like move them about a little bit I thought this would be a nice way, I should have done the first one really, um, just to add just a nice little bit of dimension to your work, just like using the stickles really, isn't it? Um, but like I said, I cannot find my stickles anywhere. I might have put them in a box somewhere or in a drawer when I was tidying up. So um, I'll have to have a good rummage and see if I can find them. So that one I've used was the Shimmering Rose. I'm going to use a little bit of this one, which is the Antique Rose. Now again, you don't have to use the same colours on all of them. I'm just tipping it to the side so I don't stick my fingers in there. Oops, that's come out in a big blob. We don't want a big blob. We only want little ones. So again, you can make some little... Um, little droplets like this can't you as well to stick on um, all your other little bits and pieces let's just have a few little darker ones just up here like that but I just think they look so so pretty so just a nice simple one today just embellishing our embellishments so just a little bit not too much put these on the the darker ones and it's just you don't have to be able to draw you don't have to be able to do anything just dot if you can dot about you'll be able to do that this now I think I've got a link for them on my Amazon storefront as well I'm just going to go in with a little bit of, this is beautiful this is very much like the stickles it's going to go around to the side just a nice little bit of shiny now i'm going to pop this it's like this is like a little lantern so i'm going to pop 
that so it shines and I'm going to pop just little dots coming down from there like that so just so pretty I'm just going between your colours just mix them up like that inside the um, glittery ones I'm going to pop on the white so it sort of like sparkles a little bit more but they're just the prettiest and um, I think the Mysteria works really well with them, doesn't it? So I'm hoping, so let's just see whether you can sort of see that. Can you see that? I just move it about just a little. I'm hoping it will sort of like catch the light, but they are just beautiful, aren't they? So I'm just going to pop that one to the side so I don't dip my fingers in it. Oh, this is the one that I was going to do with the pink on it. But I was going to... Um, I'm going to pop these over there as well in a minute. Oh, I'll tell you what I did. This is what I did. These are the colours. Um, I put them on some white card. So this is the clear, obviously. This is the, um, the like the stickles, the glittery one. And then these are the colours. So on white, they look completely different, don't they? But they still sparkle and shine. And also I put the clear one on the butterfly. Um, it did make the ink smudge a bit. On there but on these ones it didn't do you know what I mean because I just dabbed them on I didn't actually spread it around so what I'm going to do with this I'm just going to go around the edge because this is a lovely lovely sort of paley pink one and I'm going to use these I think in the journal as sort of like little tuck spots because they are so nice they're nice and big aren't they you can tuck things into so I'm just going to pop this around the outside I had to close my patio doors because it's quite noisy outside but oh it's so hot it's so hot I should have put the air conditioning on right I'm going to use this one which is shimmering rose on here so this is probably a good one to do um, sort of like overnight so you can they're sort of like dry. Are you going to come out? So they dry overnight so you're not dipping your fingers in them. So I'm just dotting it around. Just so we've got some little bits of a sparkly coming in. So coming down just little dots. love it i love it okay a little bit of pink and then i'm going to go in with this beautiful little one the little glittery one on here and that's i'm going to put this on the greenery bit as well it looks so so pretty nice and sparkly i'm going to Hold that down, make sure I dip my fingers in it. I'm going to just add just a little bit to the little jug on here, just where the white is, if you know what I mean. So it looks like where the sun is shining on it. So can you see, you don't have to be too careful on there. Add a little bit more just around there. Beautiful absolutely gorgeous I love it so we've got this one I've got this one look at that they are just lovely aren't they keeping it on here as well it stops them sort of like buckling up too much because they're quite wet um, but they are lovely right I've got these as well so this one I've printed out the um, pockets on a couple of them I print out a couple I mean, I printed in the pockets out a couple of times. Um, I will tell you what we could do. Maybe I will. I was going to pop this onto a piece of the the velvet. Maybe I'll do that. Where did my little bit of velvet go? If I can find it. Okay, so this is the piece I was going to stick it onto, or sew it on. I think. I just think that will look so so pretty. Where's one of our? It's 
one of our journals, make sure it's going to fit. Actually, it might look quite nice on there. Like that, just like a little belly band. And then I'm going to put another piece. I cut that off, say there, just so I measure it properly. Like that. Sew that on. Then I'm going to sew a little piece like our belly band, like our tea bands that we did. Sew that onto there. So it's like a little tea band. And then suppose I could pop a little bit of this rose trim down there, couldn't I? That would look nice. That's pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's see how long we would like it. Don't want to do too much. Say there. Can you see? Am I in the right place? Let me move this over because I'm quite close today. So if I can always um, cut this down, can't I? I'm going to just melt this end bit just to stop it from fraying on either end like that. Now it's just going to be, shall I do it exactly the same length as this? Do you think? Maybe I will. I think I will do it exactly this, or maybe I can cut that off afterwards. No, I won't. I'm not going to do it exactly, exactly because I can trim it up. Did I burn that? I think I did, didn't I? Just in case I sew it and it goes a little bit wibbly wobbly. But before, I would like to make this before I put the little um, Nouveau drops on. So that will sit on there. And then that will sit on there. So this has got to go into the middle, hasn't it? Put my scissors. So if I pinch that. So that's the middle. I need to sort of pinch this bit and put that there. So that's about right, isn't it? So that's about the middle. Shall I just pop a little bit of this on just to hold it in place? I don't think I need it that far up. Let's pop a little bit on there. Just so it's in the right place. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, well, I wasn't going to do this today, but I am now. Where's our little thingy? There we go. This can go on like that. And should I put this down through there? What do you think? Down through there, like that. And along the top and cut it there. And bits of cotton everywhere. Just take that off. Now I'm going to take this book away so I don't get glue or anything on it, which is probably a good idea. So if I put that on there, that can go up a little bit higher. Do we need a piece across here? Oops. Oh, that's just so pretty, isn't it? Overkill. I don't want to overdo it too much. What do you think? I think I'm going to leave that bit. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to sew this on. And then that means sewing through that bit as well. So let's just stick that on and sew that. Let's do that. Let's pop a little bit of glue through here, just through the middle, so it's the bit we're not going to glue. Just to hold that in place, because they do tend to move around. On this velvet, things move around quite a lot. 
when you're trying to sew. That's not very level, is it? Let's move it over a little bit. Fabulous. That's so pretty. Still not. Let's move it. There we go. Didn't do that very well. I'm going to take that off. Let's do that again. Because we need it in the middle. There we go, that's better. It tends to slide over. It's because it's wibbly wobbly. Here we go, lovely. Right, let's leave that to dry and we can have a think about this bit. What I want to do is put this on here so I can add the Nouveau drops to it. So I'm just going to sew that and I'll have a think about how I'm going to embellish the bottom bit. So let me have a sip of my coffee. I'm going to bring my sewing machine over quickly, smooth these little bits. Look at these, they're just so, so pretty. I love them. Put that there, pop that there, pop this one over here. That's the thing, I need to do this when, um, oh, my little foot's just fallen off there. I need to do it when I'm not going to be at my desk and dipping my fingers into the little things. So let's get this sewn and then we can do a little bit more. Okay. Move some bits and pieces out of the way. Now I'm going to, you can just see because I'm quite close today, aren't I? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew the top piece like that. Okay, lovely. I don't think I sewed that very straight, but um, I think we will be okay. Is that my scissors? That was my, that was my scissors on there. It does just pucker it up a little bit. I'm going to cut that off. Now I can cut this. I'm going to quickly just melt this a little bit. Just a little bit there. Make sure you don't burn the paper. Just a little bit. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I think that's lovely. Look at my sewing is not very, not very straight, is it? Okay. There we go. Let's get our little drops out. What shall we pop on this one? Let's see. I do love. I'm going to go with the darker one to start with. Or actually, I really should start with a lighter. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of, little bit of silver, just a tiny bit, just dotted around, just little, little dots. I think I'm going to go this way because it's easier for me to do sideways. I think these make such a difference. There we go. Little diddly dots on there. Okay, we have silver. Then I'm going to go in with the pink. Like this. These ones come out a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll just pop these onto the pink and the purple ones. Now you can get lovely little round circly bits with these. But I'm just going to dot these for now. And I'm just going to go in with a lovely little bit of glittery one. Just a little. I'm 
And then once this is dry, I can figure out where I would like to pop the little bit of rose trim, or I might even change my mind and add something else to it. But these are just beautiful. Actually, these little glittery ones are quite nice on the um, just on the greenery. Like that. A little bit up there. Okay. So let me just show you. Can you see how beautifully and shiny that is? They do go shiny as they dry. So that's fabulous, isn't it? Make sure I don't get glue and everything on here. But where's that little piece here? What do you think? I'm quite liking that. Quite liking that. But I'm not. I'm going to put that to the side. So today is just a lovely little let's put that there I'm going to do some more I'm just thinking we've got this yellow shall I just I think I put the green on the outside I did put some on there but I'm going to put the um, glittery one on here just on the yellow just a few just so it's shining so if you don't have this even you've got stickles you can use stickles um, because obviously stickles comes in all sorts of colours as well. But I always sort of like tended to buy the just the glittery one. The clearer ones. So I think these in the journal are going to be beautiful. I'll probably have pop it on quite a few of them. There we go. Shall I add a little bit of the green? What do you think? This is the mint. The mint green. I think I should pop a little bit. These come out quite, quite big. Just draw down the leaves. If you sort of like dot it together, if you know what I mean, it tends to sort of like go in a nice little line. Well, it's very satisfying doing this but don't press too hard if you've got these you probably know that anyway if you've got them because they will come out in a big blob so I think I need to get some grease proof, grease proof paper baking parchment and then I can make the little sort of like um, embellishments the little circles look at that that's beautiful I love it so let's pick these up can you see? Doesn't that look so pretty? Right, I'm going to pop these onto my sewing machine. I'm going to pop this onto my sewing machine as well so I don't make a big mess. Should we do the window one? That's lovely. What colour should we have? Let me have a sip of coffee. Lovely. Should I pop a little bit? This is shaded lilac around here this ink so these make beautiful little um, tucks don't they these big embellishments okay I like that what should we go in with I want to go with the darker one I'm going to go in with a little bit of the the darker one in here. Which side? I'm going to start this side so I don't stick my fingers in it. A few little dots. You're going to do it properly. You could probably just hold it so it goes straight up. If you know what I mean, like that. But and you get proper little spots on there. But I'm not too worried. I just want the sort of like shiny of it. Lovely. Oops, I've got it stuck to my arm. Let's go in here. A few. I don't think I'll put the darker one on the middle ones. Let's go in with this beautiful pink. I 
dot 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 lovely and then I think um, on the window frame I think I do the glittery window bit on the window frame the glitter one and I think that will come out make it look all nice and shiny should we pop a little a little bit of this on here of glitter just on the window frame. I hope you can see this. My hand's not in the way. Just so it shines a little bit. It's on the little bars. Nice little shiny window frame. There we are. Oh, these are going to look so pretty in the journal. A little bit of dots on the leaves. Maybe I should go in with a little bit of green on there. Do you think I should go in with a little bit of green? Okay guys, so that's all I'm going to be doing. I will carry on doing the rest. I will do a few more. I'm not going to do all of them. But I just wanted to show you. I think these are lovely. Oops, if I can pick it up. I just think they look absolutely beautiful. And this is going to be lovely. What did I do with my other ones? These are the little tags. So they are lovely. I will back those with a little bit of tea stain paper or something like that. But that looks so pretty in there, doesn't it? And this is the one that's dry, so that's lovely, that feels lovely. I've even popped a little bit in the little rose, roses on there as well. But I'm hoping you can see that. I think they are just beautiful. And this one, oh, we did quite a few, didn't we? They've got this one, which I did earlier. This one, which I've popped the silver on, which I think going in between with the silver looks lovely. And then we've got this beautiful pink one here. So lovely. So that's our lovely embellishing our embellishments today. Um, I'm going to carry on, like I said, do a few more. Um, so they are all dry and ready um, to go into our journal. All right, guys. Well, thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fab rest of the day. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.